And it's Friday, and you know, good news and bad. KRBC's website, bigcountryhomepage.com, keeps you in the loop. BCH's Carly Cross joins us in studio this week. Carly, what things have been catching our audience's attention most this week? Hi, Noah. Thank you for having me back in tonight. It's been a busy last couple of weeks, and I'm happy to be here. In not so happy news, however, we've had a bustling news cycle. Here's this week's Big Country Beat. Starting low with number five, Abilene Fire responding to a house in flames Monday night at a Southside mobile home park. AFD has not updated KRBC on the investigation. Number four, it's nothing short of a miracle that nobody was hurt when a semi truck and a train collided in Thai Wednesday. Thai police say because of a lack of signage informing truckers to not use the railroad crossing, it's an honest mistake to the driver. Coming in at number three, FBI arresting Victor Taylor of Abilene. He is accused of producing illicit footage of children. Taylor remains in the county jail without bond. Next up, a fiery crash taking the life of a driver in Abilene on Tuesday. Investigators say a vehicle left the roadway and rolled several times before catching fire. 58-year-old Ebony Kellum passed away in a nearby hospital. Coming in at number one on web is another fatal crash. This wreck happening last Friday in Merkel, taking the life of 43-year-old Abilene man Rogelio Cortinas. He was one of three men in the vehicle. Investigators say the driver lost control at the top of an embankment. All right, I know that was rather grim week of top stories, but that is all I have for this week's Big Country Beat. And it is officially summer now, so be safe, have fun, stay alert while driving. Noah. That's right. Thank you so much, Carly. And, you know, we can't, we love happy stories. We can't have them all the time. We appreciate you wrapping those all together for us. Details to all of those stories and more are available right now on the KRBC website. That's bigcountryhomepage.com.